So this is S25 Ultra and I recently updated to One UI 8. So today I'm going to explain to you everything that is related to S25 Ultra One UI 8. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do so. And this is very important if you have One UI 8 on the S25 Ultra. So let's get started. Very, very simple, but a lot of new things. First of all, we're going to go into the setting. And then when you go to the setting, if you go to the search button, at the here, you will see there's like a little blue box right there. This is where you actually put your words and AI will do everything for you. What I'm trying to say is, let's just say if your eye is hurting and you just type eyes hurting, just like this. And now you can see all the suggestions is related to your eyes to comfort your eyes. So anything that you write at the blue box, then the AI will, uh, will suggest you to do whatever is suitable for you. So if you open your my file, at the top right there, you can see it's actually categorized everything for you. There is no more recent uh, files. It's everything it will be image, files, audio files, documents, download, and installation files. Everything will divide it for you. So this is actually quite simple, easy to navigate right now. Before, they only put recent files, but now they will actually divide everything for you. So now, let's just say if you want to do a split screen, okay, let's just say I'm going to do a split screen, and then let's just say we're going to put something like this. Now the newest update is you can actually sneak peek. What I'm trying to say is you can actually go all the way down, like around this area, you can see there's 90% of the space at the top for the first app and there's 10% at the bottom. So let's just say when you finish, you just tap this and now it will go back to 90% and 10% at the top. That's pretty cool, huh? So you don't have to close the app. You can still use your, use your multi windows, but you can navigate 90% to 10% or other way around by just tapping on the windows. So I'm not sure how many people actually use this button right there. As you know, on the One UI 7 or for the longest time, you have to turn your calculator sideways like this to make sure that you have a, a scientific calculator. Right now, you don't have to. You just tap this button right there and now you can see your scientific calculator will be on. You don't have to turn landscape mode to come up with scientific calculator. You just need to tap this and then that's it. That's now I'm going to show you, show you something pretty cool. We're going to go to the Samsung Note, okay? Samsung Note. And if you actually look at inside here, and then right at the top there, if you press the plus button, you can see sticky notes. So now on this page, inside, type something, and then hide it. And you can see right there, you see a sticky note right there. Okay, when you press, and then the sticky note comes out. This is the One UI features. Pretty awesome, hey? So the next feature is, I'm gonna pull out the draw assistance. If you don't know how to do this, um, you should take a look. It's actually on the side panel, the fastest way. And now you can see join assistant. When you press the join assistant, right now, there's actually way more options than before. Before, there's only four options. Right now, you can see there is plenty of options you can use, all right? So let's just say if I want to do something like this, and let's just say, I'm gonna draw something, I don't know. Like, let's just say a heart. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. And then when you press generate, they will actually create pretty good image for you. All right, so you can see that, right? So right now, it's more than watercolor, illustration, 3D art, right? It's more than that now. You can do so many different things with just one go. Press the, uh, a few more, you can actually do so many different things on the chart right here. So another new features I would like to show you is, is actually audio editor by AI. However, at the beginning of the One UI 7, you have to press this button whenever you have a video. You have to press this button and 
then they have to analyze your audio now the new feature is you can just press this button right there okay and then they will do a preview for you what they think is the best way for your video they're going to cancel all the noise they're going to cancel all the like crappy sounds or they will actually um, make it louder your voice so they will analyze everything for you by just pressing this button they will choose whatever is best for you and this is actually pretty cool by without going into right there okay so you can see that it's erasing for you doing some type of editing and then when they finish you can see if you like this or not if not then you can go back retrieve it and then whatever you want to do so when you get your one ui 8 on your app page you should be seeing this okay vertical scroll but however a lot of people they may not like this and they want to switch back to the original one however same thing as this one some people do not they don't have this they don't have the toggle bar at the top and then the uh, notification bar at the bottom they don't have that they have the newer version how do i change this it's actually quite easy first of all if you want to change this back to the original one you have to go to good lock okay and then you have to download this thing called home up once you have that okay i'm going to just zoom in for you you have to download this thing called home up once you have this too you go back outside you hit this three dot button and then you can choose home up and then right here you can do a horizontal scroll once you press this now you can see you can scroll sideways now okay pretty pretty simple right so you don't have to scroll up and down if you don't want to but you need to download the good lock and the uh, home up now look at the setting right so let's just say if you do not like this so once you scroll down it should be like this or like that and people don't like this because where's my notifications now you have to go sideways like this for your notifications right so in order to put them back together you need a pencil and a panel setting and then go to together once you go to together now you can see everything will be back to normal when you scroll you see the toggle bar and the notifications that's it pretty simple so now we're going to talk about something super super important that is is additional for the one UI 8. If you go all the way to the bottom there, you can see there is this thing called antioxidant added to your Samsung Health right there. Okay, it require. Let me repeat again. It will require you to have a Samsung watch just like this to measure your antioxidant. So if you are super super concerned about your health, maybe this one will be work. It will work for you. And it works really really well so you can see I'm very 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 low because I'm not like that healthy so you can see it's only 36% so this is additional into your Samsung health from the one UI 8 for the final thing I would like to show you is it's actually the wallpaper so we're gonna go into the wallpaper and then we're gonna change wallpaper if you can see at the bottom here there's this thing called color when you go to the color you can see dynamic this is basically it the color will change according to your time okay so right now for us it's a night time so that's why it's a night time it's a dark but however if it's daytime it will turn to green yellow red whatsoever so according to the time the background will change with the color all right so these are the all the features or most of the features for the one ui 8 on the s25 ultra please subscribe my channel and share this video and i hope this will help you to navigate your brand new s25 ultra please subscribe and see you next time bye bye peace out